Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of the amusement ride down in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. I ask for a few minutes of your time to allow me to provide some information about what we have, the futures it can hold, and how you can get involved. First, I'd like to explain a little bit about the freaking ride! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the first part was great. Yeah, okay. that's right. First part was yeah. great. We got another one now. Take two. Take 102. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of this amusement ride down in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. I asked for a few minutes of your time so that I may provide some information about this ride, the future of this ride, and how you can get involved. First, let me uh, pull my head out of my ass. <laughs> It's that switching to the camera that's throwing him off. <laughs> Why don't you let him stop there? Yeah, or, or he can just, why don't you just turn to the camera and say that last line? Just turn to that camera. You don't have to keep going. You can stop, take a breath, and then... Yeah. Oh, well. That's the, we've got you twice good doing yeah. the first bit. Yeah. Well, we're going to do it again. Okay. <laughs> you want to do the whole thing again? Well, yeah, yeah. He needs a swivel. He needs a uh, Neil Peart swivel. No, I just need to move my neck and focus. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Take three. 103. Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of this amusement ride down in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. I ask for a few minutes of your time so that I may provide some information about the ride, information about whatever's up my ass. <laughs> 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 Take four. <laughs> okay, my blush went off. <laughs> Who's going to be making a film soon? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of this amusement ride down in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. I ask for a few minutes of your time so that I may provide some information about the ride. <laughs> It was real easy when I was all by myself. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Take five. Ow! Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of this amusement ride down in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. I ask for a few minutes of your time so that I may provide some, insp <laughs> some inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of this amusement ride down in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. I ask for a few minutes of your time so I may provide some information about this ride, the future goals of this ride, and how you can get involved. First, let me explain a little bit about the ride during this visual presentation you are about to see. The audio part, take one. This ride is classified as a dark ride in the amusement industry. A dark ride consists of individual cars going through individual scenes or sets and is mostly enclosed inside a building. If you've been to rides like It's a Small World at Disneyland or the Speedlunkers Cave, formerly at Six Flags, Texas, then you have been on a dark ride. There are portable dark rides seen at fairs and carnivals and amusement park dark rides located at major amusement parks. What I have is an amusement park dark ride larger than most. It can be compared in size and length to the Haunted Mansion at Orlando, Florida, the largest in the U.S. The ride consists of 14 cars seating two to three patrons, each traveling at walking speed. The cars travel at 760 miles an hour. <laughs> well, that's fast. <laughs> The ride consists of 14 cars seating two to three patrons, each traveling at walking speed. The cars travel on 760 feet of single track with many turns and is laid out on a single level floor. With over 14 years of experience, my team of individuals can provide a top-notch professional setup with special effects, animatronics, making this one of the kind attraction. I'd like to do that one over again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go ahead. With over 14 years of experience, my team of individuals can provide a top-notch professional setup with special effects and animatronics, making this one-of-a-kind of attraction. There are many benefits to this dark ride over the major amusement parks dark rides. Sole ownership to better focus on the ride details, operation, and safety. I can promote charities. I can, <laughs> I can promote charities, school and church discounts, birthday parties, and more. The ride is much cheaper to operate being privately owned and operated. The ride is adaptable to any season by changing out the scenes and props. The ride is currently equipped to operate for the Halloween season for a ride through haunt and a Christmas season as a winter wonderland ride. My short term goal is to expand into an empty space to increase the size of the ride and operate year round with three major themes. All four seasons are primed for the Bricktown District. Once the expansion is complete, the spring and summer seasons will be themed a 3D ride focusing on tourism and providing fun-filled entertainment for the whole family to enjoy. My long-term goal is to be a major attraction in Oklahoma City providing entertainment again to the whole family to enjoy in hopes of establishing a yearly tradition. I'm seeking sponsorship to assist in cost and materials needed in expansion of the ride. It can be a monetary form or product form ranging from building supplies or electrical supplies it can be a monetary form or product form ranging from building supplies or electrical supplies to prop and scenery materials. This is a huge opportunity to advertise. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start this whole paragraph over again. Take nine. Yeah, let's just, let's, do you want to try to read the whole thing again? Or do you I'm, want to just read I'm just going to do this, this, this paragraph okay. right here. Okay, so this is the next to last paragraph. Right? Mm -hmm. Next to last paragraph, next audio. Next, 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 <laughs> <two again. laughs> Take one. I'm seeking sponsorship to his... Uh, <laughs> Take two. <laughs> I'm seeking sponsorship to assist in cost, materials... Okay. I'm seeking sponsorship to assist in cost and materials needed in expansion of the ride. It can be in monetary form or product form ranging from building supplies and electrical supplies to prop and scenery materials. This is a huge opportunity to advise your company. Advise? I'm advising your company. <laughs> okay. Well, you, are you on the next, last paragraph? No, I'm still on that same paragraph. Okay. <laughs> the same paragraph, take three. This is a huge opportunity to advise... I'm glad I got my glasses on. <laughs> okay. This is a huge opportunity to advertise your company in Bricktown and be a part of the ever-growing entertainment. Advertisement can be in the form of banners, flyers, tickets, shirts, and anything else that will be part of the promotional package. Also, the cars will show sponsors' names. This ride is located in Bricktown District in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The location doesn't get any better than this as the ride is right next to Oklahoma Avenue, right out in front of the canal. Right in front of what? The canal. The location doesn't get any better than this as the ride is right next to Oklahoma Avenue and right in front of the canal. Exposure is at its finest for advertising for any application from the road and the water taxis. To get a better idea of what possibilities this ride holds, you can visit www.breaktownamusement.com to view the 2004 seasons of Halloween and Christmas. If interested or want to learn more, you may contact me at area code 405-691-7422 or email me at frightnight at cox.net. I hope this presentation uh, still pulls my head out of my ass. Don't right. no worry about it. Outro, video, take one. I just when I look at him, they start smiling. <laughs> now, how do you get his glasses on all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> Outro, video, take two. <laughs> I'm glad you're turned around. It's helping. Thanks a lot, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Outro, video. What the heck's an outro? That's sort of like your last thing that oh. you're saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> Outro video, take three. <laughs> I didn't start it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Stop it.
Okay, here we go. I hope this presentation. I had started reading. I hope. I hope this presentation. Okay. Outro video take four. I hope this video presentation has helped in explaining what the hell I have. <laughs> Outro video take five. I hope this video presentation has helped in explaining what I have and what can <laughs> hold for the fe fe future. <laughs> We've got to do a behind the scenes yeah. video to go with this. Outro video take six. We just do it all like video and not no audio. Okay. I hope this video presentation has helped explain what I have and what the possibilities can hold for the future. I hate when I reword things. I can't remember what comes next. Okay. I hope this presentation has helped explain what I have and what the future can hold. Thank you for your time, and God bless America. <laughs> God bless your <Georgia>. Okay. <laughs> I hope this presentation has helped in explaining what I have and what the future can hold. I again... <laughs> I hope this presentation helped in explaining what I have and what the future can hold. I thank you. <laughs> Okay. Do I need another clicker? Yeah, we need another clicker. Clacker. I think we need clacker another clicker. Jack. Take him again. Yeah. Clacker Jack. Outro video. Take seven. Clacker Jack. I like this. Outro video. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Screw this shit. <laughs> Outro video. Take eight. I hope this video will present. I'm so sorry to no, 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 it's him grinning away. It's no wonder he can't. It's, it's not you. It's not, that it it's is. not you. It's the beer I'm thinking about in the fridge. <laughs> I hope this video presentation has helped explain what I have and what the future and show what the future can freaking hold. I hope this video presentation has explained what I've got, what I've got, what I don't have. I don't have talent. <laughs> Okay. You got enough tape in that thing? <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay. I hope this video presentation has helped explain what I have and what the future can hold. Again, I thank you for your time and hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day. That's a wrap! <laughs> <laughs> now, can we start over? Do you, do you want to try that again, or are you okay with all that? I don't know if I'm going to do any, any better. That's for Okay, okay, we're, we're doing, doing the, the, the intro, intro video retake, take one. Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of this stadium. Well, I'm doing good. <laughs> uh, wait till he gets back behind there, Tom. Yeah. He's going to pick up his feet. Okay. Click on the outro, I mean intro, <laughs> take two video. Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of this amusement ride down in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. I ask for a few minutes of your time so that I may present this, what the hell do I got here? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, keep, keep going, you're okay. Hello, I'm Tom Gore, owner of this amusement ride down in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. I ask for a few minutes of your time so that I may explain a little bit about this ride, the future of this ride, and how you can get involved. First, let me take a little bit of time to explain what the hell I've got here. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just read just read that line to that camera. Because that, yeah. that, that first yeah. thing was okay. Okay. I'm gonna fade in that with that one. Yeah. So fade. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> first, let me explain a little bit about the ride while you were viewing this damn video footage thing that I'm trying to do. I'm not even looking at it. I'm not even looking at the camera. Okay. 
First, let me explain a little bit about this ride during this vis visual, 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 <laughs> okay. okay. First, 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 first. <laughs> Explain a little bit about this ride during this visit. Did it again? Did it again? Okay, here we go. First. <laughs> Let me explain a little bit about this ride during this video presentation. <laughs> Got the video part out, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> First, let me explain a little bit about this ride during this video presentation you are about to see. Audio tape two. This ride is classified as a dark ride in the amusement industry. A dark ride consists of individual cars going through different scenes or sets and is mostly enclosed inside of a building. If you've been on rides like It's a Small World at Disneyland or Spelunker's Cave, formerly at Six Flags, Texas, then you've been on a dark ride. There are portable dark rides seen in fairs and carnivals and amusement park dark rides located at major amusement parks. What I have is an amusement park dark ride larger than most. It can be compared in size and length to the Haunted Mansion at Orlando, Florida, the largest in the U.S. The ride consists of 14 cars seating two to three patrons, each traveling at walking speed. The cars travel on 600 shit. <laughs> You're good until then. No, no. The ride consists of 14 cars seating two to three patrons, each traveling on on walking speed. <laughs> 760 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, here we go again. What I have is an amusement park dark ride larger than most. It can be... What I have is an amusement... An amusement? What I have... Okay. Rear. What I have is an amusement park dark ride larger than most. It can be compared in size and length to the Haunted Mansion or 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 the whatever the hell you're talking about. <laughs> okay. What I have is an amusement park dark ride larger than most. It can be compared in size and length to the Haunted Mansion at Orlando, Florida, the largest in the U.S. The ride consists of 14 cars seating two to three patrons, each traveling at walking speed. The cars travel on 760 feet of single track with many turns and is laid out on a single floor level. With over 14 years of experience, my team of individuals can provide a top-notch professional setup with special effects and animatronics making this one-of-a-kind attraction. There are many benefits of this dark ride over the major amusement parks dark rides. Sole ownership to better focus on the ride details, operation, and safety. I can promote charities, school and church discounts birthday parties, and much more. The ride is much cheaper to operate being privately owned and operated. The ride is adaptable to any season by changing out the scenes and props. The ride is currently equipped The ride is currently equipped to operate for the the ride is, yeah, I'm getting electrocuted. <laughs> the ride is currently, well, hell, I'm sitting on the track. <laughs> the ride is, <laughs> I'm a prop now. The ride is currently operating, operating. See how I can't even read. The ride is equipped, take 90. <laughs> The 
ride is currently equipped to operate for the Halloween season as a ride-through haunt and the, what the hell? Through the haunt, the, as, okay. Shit, I typed this thing out. I took it. The ride is currently equipped to operate for the Halloween season as a ride-through haunt and the Christmas season as a winter wonderland ride. My short-term goal is to expand into an empty basement to increase the size of the ride and operate year-round with three major things. All four seasons are primed for Bricktown Mystery. Once the expansion is complete, the spring and summer seasons will be themed a 3D ride, focusing on tourism and providing fun-filled entertainment for the whole family to enjoy. My long <laughs> My long-term goal is to be a major attraction in Oklahoma City, providing entertainment again to the whole family to enjoy. Okay. My long-term goal is to be a, a major ball player. Okay, here we go. My long-term goal is to be a major attraction in Oklahoma City, in the Oklahoma City. Okay, no, no. Here we go. Play. My long-term goal is to be a major attraction in Oklahoma City, providing entertainment again for the whole family to enjoy in hopes of establishing a yearly tradition. I'm seeking sponsorship to assist in cost and materials needed in expansion of the ride. It can be in monetary form or product form, ranging from building supplies or electrical supplies to prop and scenery materials. This is a huge opportunity to invite... <laughs> This is a huge opportunity to advertise, advise. <laughs> okay. This is a huge opportunity to advertise your company in Bricktown and be a part of the ever-growing entertainment. Advertisement can be in the form of banners, flyers, tickets, shirts, and anything else that will be part of the package. Okay. Advertisement can be in the form of banners, flyers, tickets, shirts, and anything else that will be a part of the promotional package. Also, the cars will show sponsors' names. This ride is located in Bricktown District in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The location doesn't get any better than this as the ride is right next to Oklahoma Avenue and right in front of the canal. Exposure is at its finest for advertising for any application from the road and the water taxis. To get a better idea of what possibility the... <laughs> Right on. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> to get a better idea of what possibilities this ride holds, you can visit www.bricktownamusement.com to view the 2004 seasons of Christmas and Halloween. Yeah, well, I screwed that one up. Halloween comes first. To get a better idea of what possibilities this ride holds, you can visit www.bricktownamusement.com to view the 2004 seasons of Halloween and Christmas. If interested or want to learn more, you may contact me at area code 405-691-7422 or email me at frightnight at cox.net. I hope this presentation has helped in explaining a little of what we have and what the future can hold. Again, I thank you for your time, and I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day. And I had my freaking glasses on. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. Do, do, another <laughs> take, do another take, just like you did. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Maybe the glasses do work. <laughs> oh, there we go. Start with this camera. I think to start with that one. No. Last, yeah. But I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah I'm going to swing to that one. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> it's a good thing you're in charge. <laughs> I hope this presentation has helped explain what I have and what the future can hold. Again, I thank you for your time, and I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day. That's a No more. Piece it together the best you can. <laughs> We're rolling.